Hi. Hello, Sandra. Actually, I am actually more of a Democrat, so I, <laughs> I'm coming at you from a different angle than I think the rest of the caller that I've actually been hearing. So, That's just fine. Happy okay. to have you on the call. Okay. Um, first of all, I love Obamacare. Um, I think that we should put it in, and if there's anything that we need to do, we can fix it later. I really don't want it to go away. I don't want it to be, say, we can't have it perfect, so let's not have it at all, because the status quo is just not working. It's just our, our nobody that I know of um, actually has insurance. It's just I think we need to fix it. The other thing is what I want to know is what kind of responsibility do you think that the Senate has and the House has in America, because it doesn't feel like anybody's taking responsibility there. They're just saying, oh, it's the president's fault. What do you feel about that? How can you change what the perception of how a lot of people are feeling about the institution? Well, as you point out, Congress is, is not a popular institution right now. Uh, Congress's approval rating um, uh, between the House and the Senate hovers right around 10 percent, which which makes us, um, as an institution, slightly less popular than Fidel and Raul Castro and slightly more popular than, than the influenza virus. But I think the virus is going to catch us one of these days. Um, there are a number of reasons for that. One of the reasons relates to the fact that it's a divided Congress, meaning the, the Senate's under the control of the Democratic Party and the House is under the control of the Republican Party. The country is fairly evenly split. Roughly half are Republicans, roughly half are Democrats. A uh, few independents in there, but it's a fairly even split. And so at any given time, when people look at Congress as a whole, they see at least half of the body of Congress being under the control of what they perceive as the other party, the party that's not with them. So that causes a lot of Americans, uh, for that reason alone, not to approve of, of Congress as an institution. Um, the other reason why I think that is the case is that as Congress has expanded in, in recent decades, uh, especially in the last four or five years, expanded rather dramatically the role of the federal government. The government's gotten more expensive, and the government has also increased uh, people's expectations about what it can do about what it ought to be doing. And so there's, with increased expectations, there are uh, more opportunities for people to become even more disappointed in what they see from their government. And so I personally think that in order to restore Congress's um, legitimacy in the eyes of the people, one of the best things that it can do is, number one, to stand up for its own institutional prerogatives so that it doesn't just become an afterthought or a rubber stamp um, and, and, and here again, this gets back to the, to, uh, the question raised by our, our last caller, uh, which is when someone else usurps our authority by changing the statutory text without seeking a statutory modification from Congress, we've got to stand up to them. Um, secondly, we've got to restore a principle called federalism to the Constitution. Uh, one of the reasons why people don't like Congress very much is because as I pointed out earlier, Congress has tried to do too much. And so you've got some people in some parts of the government that, in some parts of the country, that think government generally ought to be doing less. Other people who think it ought to be doing more. People in Vermont, for example, uh, would really like to have a single payer, government funded, government run health care system. Uh, people in Utah would, would not like that. You'd have more people in more parts of the country getting more of what they want from government and less of what they don't want from government if government were handled at the appropriate level. Currently, we've got far too much governing going on at the federal level at the expense of the people and of state and local governments. And I think that's another thing that we can do to restore public confidence in Congress and in government generally. 